Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. Specifically, today we are doing a mod throwback. That's right, we are finally back to doing some throwback Thursdays. There have not been a ton of mods this week, so I felt like it would be a good opportunity to go back and take a look at a mod that I actually have never tried, which is pretty crazy. And that mod is going to be the G11, also known as Kraut Space Magic by AzXAz. Now, for those of you who don't know, the G11 is a crazy German design prototype weapon that never actually saw full production. It was designed and developed between the 1960s and 80s, making this a perfect candidate for the Fallout universe, not to mention it was actually in Fallout 2 giving this thing perfect eligibility for the DAX lore friendly seal approval. That's right, I brought it back, the stupid bit from three months ago. I have certified this thing and deemed it completely lore friendly. And who knows, we may be making stickers soon. So yeah, this thing is a wonderful lore friendly addition to your Fallout game. Bringing back another classic Fallout weapon into Fallout 4, and this beauty has a ton of amazing features, as to be expected with any mod by AzX Az. Tons of customization options, a bunch of uniques to find, more than this mod actually leads on in the first place and a fun couple of quests to do as well. So let's go ahead and talk about how you actually get this thing. So when you first launch your game, you're going to get a new quest called A Brick in the Wall, which is going to lead you over to Diamond City. Specifically, you need to head over to the Dugout Inn where you will find a note leading you on a little bit of a fetch quest. The note basically entails that you need to head over to the Old North Church Around the basement where you would normally discover the railroad, there is a brick in the wall. If you can find that special brick, then that is where you'll find the weapon. But am I going to tell you where that brick is? Absolutely not. I'm just kidding. It's this brick. This brick right here. The one that looks like a gun sticking out of the wall. Once you pick this thing up, you will have the first of the G11s, along with a bunch of menus that will prompt you as to whether or not you want to add this thing to the level list, into vendors, etc. On top of that, you do get another note which leads you on a fetch quest for yet another version of the G11. So you already have the standard G11 as well as the levelless integration, but now it's time to find a unique version, which is actually a toy hidden over at Wilson Automatoys. So let's go ahead and find it. Once you head over to the Wilson Automatoys HQ, bearing in mind that I forgot to disable the orc mod, you'll fight off a horde of orcs, and eventually you will find, locked behind a door, the Jack in the Box which is going to be a fancy new version of the G11. As for its special ability, we'll talk about it in a little bit. But on top of this, you'll be prompted with yet another menu that will give you three clues to find yet another three unique variants of the weapon. Now, these weapons in particular are intended to be a little bit secret as they are hidden behind some clues. So that being said, spoiler warning if you don't want the location of these weapons. Now. These weapons do not actually have any full guides out there on the internet anywhere. I couldn't seem to find a single one, so I had to go out there and find them myself. And now I will be presenting that information to you guys. That being said, if you want these to be spoiler free and you don't want to see the locations, tune out for the next uh, about a minute. Otherwise, stay tuned and here are the locations for the weapons as follow. The first hint says that it is located where shiny white weapons are tested. This one is pretty simple. You're going to head over to the Institute's Advanced System section where you would normally find somebody testing weapons. Head over to the right and you will find the new Robot Space Magic variant of the G11. The second hint says a defense contractor that specializes in jet propulsion technology. This one's pretty easy too. This is going to be an ArcJet Systems. Simply head down the main path like you would if you were running around with Dance and you will see this thing sitting on a terminal. If you walk too quick, you might miss it like I did, but it is just sitting there right next to the terminal. Pretty easy. And for reference, it's where you would find the Tesla magazine that is typically in this location. And then the final hint says a place where you would go for medicine, your own little den. Den is in bold. Now you would think, okay, den, what's a den in Fallout? Maybe the memory den? No, it's actually an unmarked location over by the USS Constitution. Head north a little bit and you will find the drug den, an unmarked location full of some raiders. Go all the way up to the top and you will find Ricardo's Revenge. And uh, boy, it's a special version of the G11. Again, we'll get into that actually now while we check out these animations. So animations, this is definitely one of the best things that this mod brings to the table. As you can see, we do have the beautiful G11 in our hands and we're gonna go ahead and fire this thing. And this does com complete with the burst functionality of the G11, which is beautiful. Let's go ahead and listen to that now. Now, it may be hard to hear, but those were some really quick burst shots, something that the G11 was actually known for. Let's go ahead and check out some of those uniques and the features they come with, starting 
with the kraut space magic this is going to give you laser functionality so now instead of bullets you are firing lasers but you do have the same wonderful reload which is very nice looking now we also have the robot space magic which is going to give you institute lasers As you can see, it can also put on the burst functionality and has that same wonderful reload, which I just can't stop watching. Then we have the Jack in the Box, the first of the uniques that you find. I saved this one for later because it actually has a fun, unique reload. Let's go ahead and check it out. So it plays a nice little Jack in the Box song as you just wind this thing up and eventually it will eject the magazine up top. Pretty interesting. And finally, we have Ricardo's Revenge. And as you can see, this thing is ridiculous. It has a twisted magazine that holds 100 rounds along with some very nice aesthetics. And this thing actually comes with a an armor set, if you can call it that. We'll check that out in just a second. But what's really interesting is the reload on this guy. The only thing I could ask for for that reload is that it was a bit longer. I want to hear more of the song. Okay, uh, back back to the review. And like I said, you do get an outfit with this pack, which is Ricardo's Battle Armor Thong and Ricardo's Bandana, which actually give you bonus damage if you're wearing these while using Ricardo's weapon. Yeah, I know you wanted to see this today. All right, finally, this late in the video, we're finally checking out the stats for the HKG-11. So here is the base HK with no modifications and no perks. This is just how the weapon is going to function standard. Here we have a base damage of 23. It's shooting five millimeter rounds, has a fire rate of 66, a range of 119, an accuracy of 68, a weight of 12.9 pounds, and a value of 190 caps. Pretty nice. This thing does have levelless integration if you choose to add it via that menu added while you're grabbing all of these unique variants, which makes this for a nice, well-rounded weapon. And as we've seen, some beautiful custom animations to fit. And of course, no weapon is complete without some cool modifications. For the HKG-11, we do have some receiver options. We have standard, calibrated, hair trigger, light frame, heavy frame, hardened, calibrated powerful, powerful, kraut space magic, which is going to give you that laser functionality and Robot Space Magic, which is going to give you the Institute Blue Lasers. For barrels, we have Short, Medium, and Long. For the Sight, we have the Standard Rail, the Standard Sight, the Prototype Sight, the Standard Sight with See-Through Functionality, as well as the Prototype Sight with See-Through Functionality. For Muzzles, we do have the option for No Muzzle, the Competitor's Compensator, the Heavy Duty Compensator, the Barrett M82 Muzzle Brake, the Spec Ops Muzzle Break, the Bird of Prey Muzzle Break, the Precision Armament M11 Compensator, the MZ-12 Muzzle Break, the Breacher Compensator, and the Suppressor, which is a mighty fine looking suppressor. We have some Velcro options. We have None, Blank, Trap, Sully, Blue Tape, Dab Ward, SPC, Oh Deer, Hit or Miss, Brotherhood of Steel, the Institute, Haru, Vault Samurai, Halo, and Wanamingo. We do have damage modifiers if you enable them from 0 all the way up to 250% as if that were necessary. And then a skin, we have Dark Polymer, Cryptek, Tan Polymer, Wood, Bakelite, Space, Institute, and Jack in the Box. And apparently I skipped some things, don't ask. For fire modes, we have single, burst, and automatic. Pretty self-explanatory. And then we also have the option, if you use that rail on top as opposed to a scope, you can add in some different types of sights. We have the no sight option, the MBUS iron sights, along with some glow versions, the micro T1 red dot, the M145 sight, the aimpoint CS, the SRS02 red dot. Pretty nice. Some extra sight options added to that Picatinny rail. Now, it is time for today's damage tests. We're going to be running three tests today. The standard version of the G11 with no damage modifiers and no perks. 
the fully upgraded G11, which is going to be using the Kraut Space Magic version. The Space Magic and Robot Magic receivers have the exact same damage as the maxed out Ballistic receiver, so it's essentially going to be identical damage. And then Ricardo's version, because again, if you wear his special outfit, you do get a massive damage modifier. Definitely supposed to be a meme, but also really overpowered. Let's start with the standard version of the G11. So as you can see, we've got burst functionality on that one. And if we really aim for the sweet spot on that death cloud, we put him down pretty easy. Didn't even have to reload, giving us a total shots to kill of about 36. Nice. Let's see how we do with the space magic variant. And that one goes down in only 13, doing 45 damage per shot in fully automatic. Very cool. Now time to test out Ricardo's variant, which I have a feeling is going to be pretty wild. Five shots. If the 100 round mag wasn't enough, you put down death claws in five shots. Matter of fact, here's an alpha death claw. He's dead. He's dead. His family's dead. Everybody's dead. Ricardo's variant is... It's a bit much, but I love it. It's beautiful. So yeah, that's the G11. There's a lot in this mod. It was a lot to cover, a lot to do. No guides. Here's your guide. It's it's a good one. Great mod. Not all jokes aside. A fantastic weapon. Really nice. Levelless integration. It's beautiful. It's lore friendly. Everything about this thing is perfect. It again, Ricardo's variant. Eh, just don't grab it. Just don't get it. It's it's very OP. Put it on your wall. Don't use it. It's just a lot. It's so much. <laughs> it's a beautiful weapon. It, it's available for PC and Xbox. If you want to try this thing out for yourself, it will be linked down in the description below. I highly recommend you try this. This one really is a lot of fun. It has one of the best animations I've ever seen for a weapon mod. This thing is truly incredible, and I highly encourage you to go check it out. Links will be down in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel and videos just like this one. So again, thank you.